<clears throat> All right, so um, part 37. This is now tied with the longest series I've ever done, uh, which is Final Fantasy X, which I only wrapped up a little while ago. Um, first things first. Um, let me see. <clears throat> so I wanted to look at uh, some of the digivolutions we got. From what I can tell, it looks like we got to do more cases before we can advance the story. Uh, which is always the, my favorite part. Uh, just, ah, uh, so, it's so great. Um, let me see. So, Lady Murder. Probably gonna turn into a Vikemon. What is it, Intelligence 120? Oh, that's kind of a way off, actually. Um, why do you all need intelligence? Why does Vikemon need intelligence? This is bullshit. Uh, fuck, I guess I'm just gonna have to... I need her to, to digivolve into something. Like, come on. You can't just stay there forever. I need to increase that precious ABI. Um, and so it looks like I need to get the intelligence to at least 120. And then defense to 130. So I don't know. Give it a couple more levels. And then let's look. Solrak needs 250 attack, which is ridiculous. Um, I gave him some training already. I threw two of the attack things at him, so his attack went up by 20. But was not that helpful. Um, <clears throat> I think the only thing I can really do is I'm probably gonna have to throw him um, in the Digimon farm. Probably throw him in like farm three somewhere, it doesn't matter. And um, hope for the best. Let's throw him there. And then, actually nope. Forgot. Gotta, where did I just put him? I'm looking right at him, okay. <clears throat> um, forgot, I gotta give him the fucking thing first. <clears throat> I, I remember, because I haven't had to do this in a while, but I remember someone made a comment um, at some point. It was like, how do you... It was something like, how do you... You know, can you explain how to Digivolve Digimon? And this was like two parts after I made like an entire part like dedicated to it. And I'm just like, I, I mean, I explained it already. I explained it in like that one part. Like, come on. Try to keep up. Um... It's just, it's kind of, because I know I spent like 30 minutes or something on it. So for someone to like ask me, like, how do you, you know, how do you digivolve and stuff like that when it says do this and this and that, I'm like, I fucking, I, I explained it already. Like, what do you want from me? If you want a text guide, you can just Google it. Like, I really can't help that much. I don't remember who did that, so if it's someone who's a freaking commenter, then um, I'm kidding and I love you. Uh, so HP is probably going to get to 2,000 pretty easily. Um, I thought it was already at 2,000, to be honest. Um... Let's... Right, so he's there. So now... I gotta farm three. Um... Wait, farm three. I forget how to do this. It's been so long. Change the leader to... Solrak. And farm three is no longer searching for shits. Now they are... Training. Forever. Um, I don't care about the cam stuff. Let's do that one, because it's fastest. I don't care. I can always just use items to increase friendship. Um, so that's him. He's on his way to Viridian City. No, he's on his way to uh, leveling up, so that's good. Uh, no Waymon has been a great data type, but he's sort of capped. Like, I feel like he can't really advance any further. Um, like, he's doing okay, but in terms of data types, there's got to be better ones. So, turning him into a uh, Gagadramon. And then I keep forgetting who this one is, over and over. But I think I'm going to turn him into a Dark Dramon. 140, 140. Or, I'm sorry. 150, 140. Uh, yeah, you can get there pretty easily. Um, although I don't wish... I wish he didn't have so much like in intelligence. Oh, that's because he's got one equipped. That's not too bad, then. And then I'll take him with me. Um... Is he still? Yeah, he's on the farm island. Here with me now. Um, right. Jeff is my only real dark virus type. And he's just kind of stagnated for a while. Um, 160, 110. What am I looking at again? Was it intelligence? I already forgotten. 160 intelligence, 110 speed. Speed is going to be there. Intelligence is going to be there. So just need to move him into the party. Um, I don't know if that's Mallow, my Otis Mon, or what, but... Just take him in. <clears throat> I know this leaves me uh, low on data types, and I don't like that, but um, 
I really can't do anything about it. As I showed, like, even when I go up against an enemy that's a vaccine, I end up just using Wargram on anyway. So, um, what do we do now? So, got a pretty much full roster here. Um, need, before I can de digivolve Cogsworth, because Cogsworth I'm going to turn into a Bancho Leomon. And then when he turns into Dark Shaman, I'll combine them. I think his ABI should be high enough. By then it'll be high enough anyway. Um, so should his. But um, yeah, so once he hits a certain level, I want to wait until he hits level 80, to be honest, because he learns a certain move. He learns like um, s uh, function. I forget what it's called. It's in the field uh, guide. I looked it up earlier. Um, he learns... No, nothing. I can do that right now, but... Right now he's my only real data type, so it's for like regular data type enemies. I need, kind of need him, so I'll hold off. Plus, Gigadramon's still a way off anyway. And then I'm on my way to Shining Greymon Blast Mode, Burst Mode. That'll be good. Okay. Do I have any red ones? Of course not. I really do think um, when I finally get a day off, I'm gonna do a stream where I just like clean it, like clean up all the miscellaneous cases and stuff, and, um, start, like, grinding a little bit more. Oh, here's a quest. Baltimore's pack of people's grievances. Your strange groaning during the night. I saw Monster Shadow inside the kind of Broadway. Bizarre things are happening more and more. It's going to happen to us. The detective agency's got to be behind this. Let's pretend I didn't read that last part. <sighs> you got another case to tackle. Hope you're ready for another day of heart. Hold on. What's this about that bullet bo bulletin board? Some people are saying the place is taking a turn for even weirder. All right. Sounds like the residents have a lot of pent-up frustration that they're letting out now. We definitely aren't lacking in people who've got it out for us. Once we're a bad, eh, once we you're a bad apple in their eyes, you're always one. Even if you're, let's see what you can do to clear a good name. What do you say? She just said, once you're a bad apple, you're always a bad apple. So how do we clear a name? It sounds like that thing that's permanent. Gilko, I don't, you're talking in riddles. Um. So, yeah, once I get a fucking more than one day off, where I can like, like actually stream, then um, I'm gonna try and do that. Okay, right. Um, okay, so I went to the bulletin board. Is that the only one? I hope so. Where is it? Okay. Oh, good. I You know, it's really good when the kind of quest is only one star. That shows you that it's really worth your time. Okay. Let's, um, let's do this. I don't give a flying fuck about any of this. Oh, god damn it. Hi. Hey, you, you're early today. When you heard something intriguing. Oh, come on, you're a little over eager. Sorry, worked up. Okay. It's the same gang. Call him surprised. That's all. That was you. Just don't say. No, I'm doing this research. Anyway, I don't I don't care. I feel like I'm not gonna fight a Digimon here because we're too late in the game for them to give me a one star case that isn't Digimon related. And just to be honest, this is a let's play. I'm not gonna go through all of the text. I'm tired of this is just like the fucking review one. Why are you doing this to me? Here's the thing that I'm realizing about this game. It's definitely a good modern Digimon game, like a good one. But in terms of Let's Playing, I don't know how many, how any of the Digimon games compare when it comes to Let's Plays. I think, in my opinion, the best ones are actually um, 1, 3, and Redigitize. 1 and Redigitize because there's not that much talking. It's mostly out in the field. Three, there is a lot of talking, but because the game is so goddamn long, there's a lot of times you're just out in the field too. So I like it in that aspect, but games with this much text, like it just doesn't, it's not good. <laughs> like, it's nothing against the games. Like, I mean, the gamers are fine. It's just when I'm doing um, videos on them, I don't want to read out loud every little fucking thing. And it's like, if it's voiced, if it's like just fluff, like a lot of this game has so much fluff. Like, this is a main quest. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, there's no reason this needs to be a main quest. This could have been a side quest. Like, they don't understand how side quests work. Like, side quests should be stuff that, like, you want to learn more about these characters they introduced? Okay, here's a side quest. Like, there's another side quest later in the game that I think absolutely should be a main quest. And I'm not going to spoil it, but it's, some people have already mentioned it in like streams and stuff. That's like one of their favorite in the game, and rightfully, so, rightfully so. Um, it's the return of two characters that were introduced. Um, I don't care. I don't care. Um, 
What do we got on the Digiline? Let's break up the monotony. Thanks for always being there. You have been in the farm for like two seconds and you already sent me gifts. You are the best. Um, sorry I'm training you so hard. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, so yeah, I think I talked about it briefly last week. But um, my, like we had this employee, the same one who like came in and said like, oh, came in like when she was supposed to be in at like 8 a.m. The next day she came in at like 2 or 1.30. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to be late. Can you stay until, like, 9? I'm like, no, I've already been here. I'm going to be there for 9 hours by the time you get here. I'm not staying any later. He's like, okay, I'm going to be at 8.30. I'm like, you're going to be at 8 because that's when your shift starts. He's like, okay, I'm going to go. Bye. I'm just like, fucking no, I'm not going to deal with this. So that was, um like, a month or two ago. So long ago. And, um, yeah, she was doing overnights because, yeah, why not? We show up hours late to shift, and when you walk out on a shift... And stuff like that. You shouldn't be fired. Why not? That'd be crazy. So, um, she was doing the Saturday into Sunday overnights. And I, um, and I had Friday night into Saturday and Saturday into Sunday off. Which is not, those are, if you're going to have two nights off, that's those are probably the two best to have off. Anyway, she got, um, she got drunk and crashed her car with someone with them. Um... And then she texted my bosses, my the owners of the store, and said, um, it's... Then they said, um, I don't remember exactly what they said. Something like... Okay, come on, Brain, we can do this. They So they said that she said was in an accident and didn't give any other information. And, and then... Um, and then they kept trying to contact her, and finally they got a hold of her, and she said, okay, I'll be there by 8. And they're like, do you mean 11? And my boss was like, yeah, we don't think that was meant for us. We think she was, like, texting a friend or something. She was basically just getting fucked up before her shift and, like, was trying to call out. It's like, you can't call out on overnights. So you need, like, way more than 24 hours notice. Like, they're really not easy to fill. Um, so she finally ended up showing up. Her shift started at 11. She got there at, like, 12.30. And my boss is already pissed there. He's like, we're going to talk about your schedule next week. Like, you're not... Like, we're going to have to... I'm going to have to dock you some hours. Because it's ridiculous. You, like, putting us through this. Like, just show up on time. It's not hard. You're already on thin ice. Like, why would you do this? <sighs> um... Oh, that's right. Well... Still... This... It's technically, um... I think this, that's like a two-parter. Like, you do the second part later, but I don't really care. Like, it's it's a good one. If you play the game, I recommend pl recommend doing it, but I'm not going to sift through it for the Let's Play. Um, And then, so she, um, so then around, like, 3.15, she locked the doors, put a sign on that said, be back in five minutes, which is fine. You're allowed to do that. I do that whenever I have to go out back and lay down a massive dose. And, um, yeah, so she did that. And she went into the bathroom and passed out for an hour and a half, which is not okay. You are not allowed to be gone that long. So customers um, tried to uh, customers tried to like come in or not come in. Like door was locked, but I guess someone was waiting for like a half half an hour and then finally called the cops. And the cops had been around earlier because there was some dude who came in um, and was like, "All right, so you guys have one entrance and two exits." Um, they were like, what? And it was just like, uh, okay, we'll be back, um, we'll be back later, we're uh, doing a thing. It's like, nobody told us we're doing a thing. And, um, they, the worker called the police on them and said, like, um, you know, uh, we have a suspicious person. They, I guess they'd heard of him doing stuff like that before, so they were, like, constantly checking in. So the police were, like, right down. And I guess they were, like, banging on the doors and stuff and, like, trying really hard to get in. And, um, I guess it's, like, the bathroom is really far away from um, the front door so I don't know if she woke up on her own or she fi found, they found her phone number or something but she finally managed to um, get um, stirred awake by then they'd already called my boss and he was on his way like he was going to have to unlock the door himself and um, they said and then she, so basically they like had her blow into um, I don't know what that means so they had her blow into a breathalyzer, and um, she blew like a 1.4, and 
And then when she got back to the station, she blew like a 1.8, so which is like twice the legal limit. I don't know if I'm... Those, these are the numbers I keep hearing. That doesn't sound right to me. I feel like it's supposed to be like a 0.4 and then a 0.8, but whatever. Um, so she... Um, so she was gone, and then they like had to lock the doors so nobody can get in. They made like police line and stuff like that. The owner finally got there and took over. Oh, it's Pete. Hey, Pete. Oh, it's you. Do you know? Do you know what I am? Because I don't. I don't feel anything at all. Not a thing. Huh? That is when Kyoko conveniently calls me. What? Oh. Okay, great. So like I said, this is a two-parter. Um, let me save you some time while I skip through it, because I don't remember if there's a fight here or not. I don't think there is. Uh, Pete is the ghost of that old man's cat who just, like, turned into a Digimon. Somehow, some way. It's a great story. You should, uh, play it yourself. <laughs> Worst fucking Let's Play today ever. It's fine. I'm exhausted. I'm allowed to do bad Let's Plays once in a while. Oh, it's four star. That means um, I do actually have a fight. And a memory up. So, yeah. Um, it's Old Man Blah Blah Blah. Yep, it's great. This is not the main plot. I don't care about it. Um, I'm just so over it. I have le other Let's Plays to do. I'm just trying to make it so I do things in this part. <laughs> um, so... The owner comes in, it's like, I, I forgot to mention, at like 8 o'clock, when they, she first said she had got in an accident, they had tried to call me to get me to come in. I'm like, I'm not coming in, I just worked five days in a row, I'm not going to come in, like, on such short notice on my own day, on my first day off, like, or I guess by then it would be my second, but most of Friday was just spent, like, fucking in a haze, like, sleeping, and then I streamed, and then, whole fucking thing. Anyway, um, so... Um, I was like, I can't make it in. It's like, and I knew she was gonna end up doing this. Like, she literally worked one Saturday overnight, and then, like, this was her second one she was supposed to do. And, um, so she was fired, like, instantly. But because of that, they were like, can you work next Saturday? I'm like, fucking, I'm already working five days. So I worked five days in a row. Friday was my day off. Like, it's technically my day off now. Like, right now, I would be at work. It's like 6 a.m. And, um... Where am I supposed to go now? And, um, so, now I'm working, I haven't seen the schedule for next week, but one of the managers is off, so I'm pretty sure my schedule this week is, oh, did they evacuate the building? I think Kyoko said something like that. That's weird. It's weird to see this place so empty. Um, this is spooky. Um, do I have to go back in here? What's going on? Old man, how did you get in here? How'd you get past the police blockade? Um, but anyway, um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm working from Saturday um, into my into next Friday, and then I'm probably gonna have to work Saturday again. So six days in a row, followed by another six days in a row. And if this sounds familiar, that's because I already had to deal with one overnighter leaving, and now literally there's. The other, I don't know, for some reason, the other overnighter can't pick up one extra shift, but I have to pick up six. I'm doing this many in a row. <sighs> so, I'm less than a happy camper. I have no free time. Like, I can't. I'm trying to, have, I'm trying to like, meet up with my grandfather. I have a friend who's visiting from L.A. Um, or she's, and uh, a bunch of friends want to meet up, and I'm just like, I can't do anything. Sorry. Like, I had to tell them all. It's like, I don't have any, I don't have a day off. And then you have my dad trying to make, trying to guilt me, just being like, well, you don't really need to sleep like eight hours. It's like, I mean, I do. I'm up all night. I have to. Like, when you're sitting in the same place, you need a good amount of sleep. Or if you're just, like, staying in the same place. Like, it's what my dad does overnight stuff, too, but he, like, he delivers chips to, like, different convenience stores and stores from, like, Frito-Lay. But he tries to tell me stuff like, um, like, you know, well, I do it, too. It's like, no, you're moving around. You're, like, constantly in motion. Like, you don't, it's not the same for you at all. Like, I'm standing in the exact same spot for nine hours, and f you are, like, moving from store to store, putting shit up and talking to people for, like, eight hours, and you get to sit down in the fucking truck. It's like, I'm not, no, I'm not having your shenanigans. Um, so, <clears throat> so that's the long and the short of it, really, is that I'm just so fucking over it, I'm just like, God damn it! I just... I just want, like, my summer back, because I've done this so many times with them, like, when I, my first summer, um, like, when I first got this job, it was because someone left, like, on short notice, and I happened to apply, like, right away, and then, um, 
when let's put uh Cogsworth in. And then the next summer, the guy who trained me left, and then I picked up all his slack. And then shortly after that the person we hired right after him also left and I pick up the slack. And then the person um who and then it was good for a while. There were two employees. Um there were two overnighters and then me who was doing weekends. And then one of them ended up leaving for a different job, so then I took up the slack. And then the other one just stopped showing up, so I picked up the slack. And then the other one came back from their other jobs, so that was fine. And then we got another employee, and I went back to school. And then I came back, and they had like they left within like two weeks after that, and I picked up the slack again. It's just a con it's an ongoing theme where it's just like things happen, and then I'm the one who comes in and like saves the day, and it's just like, I'm so fucking over with it, like, god damn it. There have been, like, I've probably watched, like, I think I counted, there were, like, nine different overnighters since I started working here, and every single time they leave, I'm the one who has to, like, go work the extra hours, I'm just, I'm tired, that's all. I'm just, like, I want, it's always during my summers, it's like, I don't get to do anything. Especially when, um, when I worked weekends, so I would work Saturday and Sunday, and let me tell you something about having Fridays off. Nobody wants to do anything Friday night. Like, everyone's always like, oh, you know. Or at least my friends where it's like, oh, we're still working, but as soon as Saturday comes around, all right, let's go do stuff. It's like, yeah, I'm working, but okay, fun. And, um, now it's just piling up. It's like, I definitely need the money because I just paid off my car and I've been paying rent and car insurance. And, you know, I have no savings. But it's like... I'm still just like, I finally am in a, in a spot where I can start saving, which is great, but it's like, at the same time, I'm like, I would like a chance to breathe. <laughs> I feel so, like, restricted, and so, like, I've been doing this way too much. This is me complaining. I'm sure there's people who have it worse than me, but this is my current situation where it's just, like, six days a week, about, like, I'm trying to remember the math, it's like, 53 hours a week, plus driving an hour to get there, driving an hour back. Uh, through traffic in the morning, which I don't, don't even get me fucking started. Um, no, no, let's get started. Let's get fucking started. Let's get in on this. Um, getting really sick of morning traffic because I've been doing this for two months now, two and a half really, and I swear every single goddamn road keeps getting construction and I'm getting so pissed because it's like, it's to the point where it's like, I'll take, there are like three different routes I can go. It's like, okay, well, this one's got construction, so I'll go a different way. And then that one has construction. So I go to another one. And then the other one finishes their construction, so I start going down that one again. But then that one um, starts doing construction in a different part of the road. And it just keeps repeating. I just have to keep changing the way I go. And it's like, eventually there's just no right answer. It's like there's construction in all of them. It's like, God damn it, I just want to go home. <laughs> like, why are you doing this to me? Um... So that's my uh, rant about construction that I'm sure a lot of people are like, fuck yeah. Preach it, man. Um, moving on, though. we um, Spencer and I finished the uh, Diablo stream last night. Uh, we I was I think that's the first co-op playthrough we've done in the game, and we've, like, from start to finish. Alright, what's this? A raid boss support request. Okay. I got time. I can do, I can do that and this. I can multitask. I'm doing it with the rest of my life. Why not this? Um, it's so pessimistic. I can't wait for the comments like, is Nick okay? He was really, like, really, like, complaining a lot in the last part. Like, is he going to be alright? No, he's dying inside. No, I'm fine. It's just annoying. I just, I don't want to work this much. That's all. Especially during the summer. And it's just difficult to balance friends girlfriends not girlfriends not plural shit that was not good um i've been found out no just friends girlfriend um parents family uh brother and sister not sister but brother um youtube channel and finding time to play games on my own time which may sound selfish but it's like yes i do want to just relax and like just quietly play video games and it just it doesn't happen very often anymore and I'm just like, so, it's not, I don't know if I'm stressed, but just like, 
feel I've got a lot on my shoulders. Did you want to check it? Did you want to call Tanoki and Kowloon or Agumon and who? Why is this even a thing? Like, how would you not know this unless you've never played a Digimon game in your life? Um, oh, I missed one over there. <clears throat> um, that's all. In other news, though, back to Diablo. Um, we finally finished that. That was the first um, co-op game we've played together. And um, and finished together, I should say. Well, both, I guess. Um, and I had a lot of fun. And I'm on... I think I'm... I finished at like level 65, 66, 67. So I need for two trophies. If I get my wizard on hardcore to level 70, then that's both getting the trophy for getting a character on hardcore to level 70, and for um, and for getting um, all six classes to level 70 because I've done that on my other like files, which is really easy because there's this uh, one gem. This is gonna get really nerdy. Uh, that makes your um <clears throat> ooh final aura nice um there's one gem in that game which um makes your it, like you can put it into a weapon and it decreases the uh level requirement of the weapon to 1 so you can like literally take like a level 70 weapon and give it to a brand new character and the other effect of it is that it increases xp by like it's something like, this isn't going to be the right number, it doesn't matter what the right number is, but it's something ridiculous like 5,000 XP per kill, which when you're level 1 is amazing. So like you'll go into your first group of enemies, and you'll like, you'll kill like 10, and you'll be at like level 30, like instantly. Like it's really, really helpful. <laughs> and um, so I did. I was using that, because I got one character 70 when I first played it, and then I used that to get the other 4. And then finally, the hardcore playthrough, I got my uh, wizard up. And uh, so once I have that, then the only one I have left is 500 bounties, which I think I'm at like 260 or something. Um, so it's not bad, I'm more than halfway. But to me, bounties are just so boring. It's like, go do these same missions over and over again. Um, it's like, um, how do I put it? There's like five acts, or five chapters, and then there's... Um, there's probably like, uh, being generous, I'll say like 13 bounties in each area. And there'll be five each area every time you like log into the game. So if you do all five acts, you'll get through like 25 bounties. But it's like, it's 13 times five. It's like the same 75 bounties over and over again, if that. And it's just like, it's, it's random too. So you're mostly doing the same ones over and over. Some of them are easy where it's just like, um, Kill 50 enemies and then kill this one specific enemy in this one area. It's like, okay. Then you just like kill 50 enemies and then just run through it until you kill that enemy. And there's other ones where it's like kill like the boss of this area, like kill Diablo. And that would be fine, but they spawn you like really far away from him, so you have to like go through like the final dungeon, and then get to him again. Which again, by that point isn't that bad, but it's still like just busy work. <laughs> like, why can't I just spawn at Diablo and kill him then? That'd be too easy. And then there'll be ones where it's like clear the halls of agony level three and then they spawn you at like level one so it's like you have to go through the first levels then kill all of the enemies on level three and just again it's the whole point of it is busy work and like that's fine but why the fuck is there a trophy for doing 500 of those like there was already a trophy or like a challenge for doing a hundred and that would have been fine like just make me do a hundred why am i doing 500 fucking masochists at blizzard it's like, I get that Diablo is supposed to be the kind of game that's supposed to be grindy, that's like in the game type, and it's like, that's fine, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> like, I just want to be done. So that'll be my last trophy, and then I'll have a platinum in it. I think right now I have 58, 57 platinums. I got, um, I think I mentioned this last week, but I did Infamous Second Son, Steins Gate, um, I cleaned up another one I can't remember, um, uh, I know a couple of days ago I got Ratchet & Clank 1, uh, I finally platinumed that, which is kind of my favorite, Ratchet & Clank's kind of my favorite type of game to platinum, because you beat your, you get to the main story, you basically stop right before the final boss, or you beat the final boss and then like, it gives you the option to, um, oh my god, there's still another labyrinth, <laughs> or you beat the final bo boss and it gives you like a option to like teleport before, um, the before you kill the final boss and you can just like go back and do all the shit. I like doing that. I, that's 
To me, that's fun, where it's like getting to explore all the f worlds I've already been to. I've always, I've already been to, not that, that I've, I can't speak. Anyway, and um, just like, okay, well now that I have the gravity boost, I can go up this one ramp that I couldn't get up to before. Um, yeah, no shit it is. And um, now I can get up this one ramp, and now I can, um, and now that I know what the skill point is, like it's like, um, kill this one boss with just the wrench. And it's like, okay, well, that's a fun thing to try. I couldn't really do it in the beginning of the game when I had less health, but now I could probably do it. Um, I like doing stuff like that, and I like like systematically going back to each world and getting shit. Um, again, my favorite type of platinum is that. So those are fun. Um, I still have Sly Three. I kind of stopped playing because I had just done one and two, uh, and I can go back. I can go back to Jack Two, but I want to order um, a special pad that there is for the Vita, which um, lets you. It like makes it so you can the back touch pad, which is what most games. Um, change R2 and L2 to, you can use the back touchpad, uh, or it like makes these buttons where you can like, basically it adds L2 and R2 to the Vita, and it like gives it a grip. Um, basically a necessity. And I think I want to order that this week, um, since I've got, I've paid all my bills, but it's not enough for like, real saving. It's only like 40 bucks, so I think I might order it like after this part actually, now that I remember it. Um... <sighs> the fuck am I going? Will it be different Digimon? I'm just gonna assume there will be, so I'll swap him in. Um, let me think. He needs to get to like level 50 or something. He needs more stats. Intelligence needs to go up more. Defense is there. You need more intelligence, I think? I don't remember what you need. You need to get to like level 50 as well. Um, and then Edamon needs to get to level 55, or 65, so that's in progress. Um, I think we've been to this area before, because I don't think they would be spawning champions, even though I just fought a bunch of Gatomon, so whatever. Nothing is real. Um, what was I going to say, though? So yeah, I haven't... <laughs> this is sad. I haven't played any more um, Naruto um, Generations, even though I kind of... I'm still working on that trophy, but it's like, all I have to do in that game is grind. It's like, I don't want to grind. I just want to be done with it. So, it's it's slow going, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, and what else was I playing? So, I'm playing Ratchet Clank. I'm going to wait until I get the back touchpad and stuff before I um, start playing um, Jack 2 again. Because Jack 2 is already a broken game. I don't need to, in or, I don't need to add to the frustration by using the, uh, the back touchpad to, if you've played Jack 2, uh, the back touchpad that it, uh, the two things that it uses that are just like to me unforgivable are um, to get on and off the jet board. You need to use um, L2 and R, which um, is just the back touchpad. If you don't understand what I'm saying, the Vita has a front touchpad and then surprisingly a back touchpad. And the problem with the back one is that you kind of have to like your hands aren't naturally curled like that. So like when you're holding the Vita, you're kind of like holding it in a specific way. Like, if you have a smartphone, you hold it the same way. Where it's, like, hands at the sides and whatnot. But you have to, to do the back touchpad, you have to use, like, your ring finger and the, like, or your pinkies to touch it, and that just feels really awkward. Like, hold your smartphone, like, on its side, and then try and, like, imagine pressing, like, where L1 and R1 would be, so, like, the side of the phone, and then try and press the back with, like, your pinky at the same time. It's, like, not natural. <laughs> so, um... That's why I need those artificial game pads. But uh, yeah, on top of Jack 2 being a broken mess as it is, um, you have to do that to get on the jet board whenever you do that, which, alright, not the hardest thing in the world. It's not like something that needs to be like a snap decision. But you also need to do it to change lanes. There's so many goddamn racing missions in that, where it's like going from like higher, like from going from like either flying close to the ground or higher with the rest of the cars. That needs to be like a snap decision type thing. And you just don't, you can't do that when you're like, awkwardly trying to claw around the back of the Vita, so not a fan. I kind of put it on hold because of that. Um, and then, like I said, I'll go back to Sly 3 soon. It's just for now, I've kind of put it off. I'm honestly thinking about finally picking up Persona 4 again, which I'm sure I've talked about in other videos, but it's like the only trophy I have left in that game is um, here 250 of Rize's 
navigation lines, which basically is she'll like give you updates in battle. If you played a Persona game, then you know what her function is. But just to explain it for people who haven't, um, just give me a goddamn tactician USB. What the fuck? Um, for people who haven't played it, she'll say things like, "Oh, this character is poisoned." Oh, this character, or watch out, these enemies are stronger than normal, or watch out, these enemies are weak, or like, not watch out, but go get them, these enemies are weak. Every, like, every individual line like that counts, and you have to hear 250 different lines. And it's like, that shouldn't be a problem, but it's not really grindable. Um, and kind of, what bugs me the most about it is it kind of rewards you for being bad. Like, the reason I didn't hear that many lines is because I didn't hear the lines like, oh, this character's poisoned, oh, this character's stunned, oh, this character's this, because I played the game right. I didn't need to hear those lines. Um, and that's frustrating. So, um, you know, I've heard a bunch of different things. Like, some people have said, oh, it carries in the New Game Plus. Some people have said, oh, it doesn't it carry. And, oh, you can grind it this way if you go here and let these enemies attack. It's like, I just, it was so much, like, work to do something dumb like that. That I just, I couldn't really get into it. And, um, finally... The best suggestion I heard was that just start a brand new game, like not no new game plus, start a brand new game on very hard, and hopefully the game will challenge you enough where you, you'll hear enough of the lines. And it, like it worked for me, and I didn't. And none of the other options worked. And I was like, all right, I'll follow this one random dude's advice. Um, but um, I I wanted to wait because like I'd already done like my problem with Persona 4 is I played through it like five times, and I think it's usually within like like the first the first time was fun. And then the second time was fun too, but I think I played it too soon. It was uh, like the second time was like my cleanup playthrough. So like I started I think too soon. Like I maybe maybe like three months after I started playing or after I finished it the first time. So I like stopped halfway through, and then I finally picked up the end of that one. And I was like, okay, cool. So I mobbed up all the trophies except for Rizes, and then I tried doing another new game. Or actually, I think I need to do three different ones. My second one I mobbed up a bunch more, but then there was one where it's like read every book and then there's some missable books so I had to do a third playthrough for that and then I think I did a I did a fourth one trying to get all the lines and just it didn't happen so I was just like fuck I beat the game and I still didn't get like all of the lines uh, so I think this would be my fifth playthrough and I specifically waited like a really long time before trying again so I just I know that it's like I, if I want to have any chance of like enjoying the game, I can't, like, immediately play it again. <laughs> Alright, so I need to go down there. God, this is so confusing. <sighs> it's frustrating running in circles, too. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about picking that up again soon, just because I need, like, a story game. As much as I love Ratchet & Clank, Jack, uh, Ratchet, and all those, they're more, like, gameplay balance like it's half gameplay half story which is fine not even it's more of like 66 percent gameplay 33 percent story um which again is fine because the gameplay is fun but after playing steins gate and getting like 99 percent story it's like I'm, I'm i'm hungering for it i want more i could technically buy uh zero time dilemma which is the third game in the 999 series um but i don't want to spend i don't want to buy a new game like if I bought the um, the touchpad thing, it would at least let me play multiple games better, so like I can justify that. But buying a brand new game when I've got so many Vita games, I still need to play. It's just like I can't really justify it. So I don't really want to buy it just yet. Even though this would be like the perfect time because I'm at work so much, and that's when I played the most Vita. Um, I'm still gonna hold off. Um, what am I playing on console? Nothing, to be honest. Like I said, I'm grinding up Diablo, but I downloaded Valiant Hearts and Transistor on a PS4 because a couple people have said that they're really good games. I don't know when I have the time to play them, to be honest. Um, but they're downloaded. I still need to finish Uncharted 4. Um, it's just, it's so hard to like, because for me, I don't like playing like console games at home and for t unless two things. One, I'm really, really into it. I'm using every waking moment to play it. Um, or. It's just like, I like having like a long amount of time set aside where I can play. Like I've always been like that. Like I've told the story where it's like, I, my, um, my brother and sister's father had Final Fantasy VII and I always wanted to play it, but I always like, I never started because I always like waited until 
I because we never really went over his house that long. So I always wanted to wait until like I had it like at home or something and I could play for like an extended amount of time because I could tell it was like a big game. Uh, mostly because it had three discs. So like young Nick was like, it's probably long. Um, so I, I always like playing like that and it's something that sticks with me to this day. So like I don't like just like even just sitting down for like two hours to play something, I feel like it's not enough. It's like just a little bit of a taste. Um, so... Which is ironic because of the way I play Let's Plays, and it's like I do it all the time now, where I just play a little bit of a game at a time. <laughs> but, um, I, um, so, like, I can't really, like, get into anything, unless, like, I get a good amount of time. Like, say I had, like, five hours, and then I played a game, I got really into it, and I had to, like, go to work or something, or go to sleep, and then go to work. When I got back from work, I'd probably take, like, an hour and, like, play it, just because it's, like, I want to play more of that game. But it's, it's, like, it's weird. It's, like, I don't get invested in the game until, like, a certain amount of time, <laughs> so... It's a tough conundrum. Um, let me see. Did I already make a thumbnail for Gigadramon? Now that I think about it, I should just use Lotusmon. That'll be easy. I definitely haven't done that. Um, oh, she's data type. Wow, I didn't know that. I had no idea she was a data type. I should have been using her for a while. Um, I just assumed she would be virus. That's on me. Shout out to the one person who was like screaming at me. Here we go. Construction was announced this, blah blah blah. Yep. Strangers might appear in the middle of my bed, it was so cold in there. Even when I tried calling up her, nobody came for me. Two detectives eventually showed up, Kyoko and Nick. They asked me who I was, I said I didn't know, so Kyoko gave me a name. She had to call me Pete because I'm some sort of time capsule. Yep, Pete, that's my name. I'm really happy to have my names are really special things to have. Is that it? Like what do I do now? Like <laughs> Look for Pete. Okay. Where? Do I have to leave this place? I'm, I want to leave, but I know, like, if I leave and I'm not done here, I'll never forgive myself. So let me look this up. Um, yes, there's a couple data files you need to hear. You need to find here. You don't have to, like, go out and find Pete. It's been a while. Um... I wonder if I did that the first time. That sounds like something I would do. Another game I still want to do, there's two things on PS3 I want to do. I want to finish, um, uh, I just realized Lotus Mon is just kind of wearing underwear, and that's it. Like, no pants. Um, I want to finish, uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, um, because then I think I would have a Platinum in every Kingdom Hearts game. Except for two, but I mean, let's be real here. Um, you know, I'm just, <laughs> if I'm down to, uh, what do you call it? Also. Thumbnail. Cool. Um, shout out to anyone with tryptophobia. Seeing Lotus Mon's head and just being really uncomfortable. Um, whatever. Uh, what was I going to say though? I'm trying to remember. Um, right, so I want to do, uh, King, I think besides King Arts 2, which I'm going to finish when I do finish the Let's Play, so I'm not really... I count that as finished. Even if someone else wouldn't. Uh, she doesn't really have that many moves. It's kind of disappointing. Um, whatever. Uh, can equip a lot of stuff. That's fun. Let's do intelligence. Intelligence all over the place. Um, and then probably HP, right? She doesn't have that much HP at all. Okay. <clears throat> um, all right. It's funny. No rule 34 went from not making any sense back to making sense. Um, actually, no, it didn't. I'm thinking of uh, the other one, Lady Murder. Um, what was I gonna say though? Um, yeah. So I want to finish Chain of Memories. The problem is I have to do four more playthroughs: two with Riku and two with Sora. I'm just like, nah, not really feeling it. Um, so just kind of putting that off. Um, yeah, I have to do. One on easy with each of them, and one on hard with each of them. I want to do, um, I think I might do a Let's Play, because it would be pretty quick. Um, they're not very long. Um, that's kind of what I meant when I said they're pretty quick. Um, but no, I want to do one um, in each of them. And because a lot of people didn't realize, including myself, that Chain of Memories actually has an important story, <laughs> where Riku's story is 
pretty fucking important and directly leads into 358 over 2 and into Kingdom Hearts 2. It basically explains what the fuck happened to Riku. Uh, and no one told me that. I always just figured like it was all fluff because the main story with Sora is garbage. You don't need to know it at all. Nothing important happens or anything that important that does happen is just explained in 2. Um, so it doesn't matter. And uh, But this is not the case, so... <laughs> I regret that I missed it. Um, what does this do? Rainbow attack, gotcha. Um, but yeah, I want to finish that. I think I only have a couple trophies to mop up, but it's more of like, when I know I have multiple playthroughs left, I try to pace myself because I know if I do like a bunch of playthroughs in a row, I'll fucking hate the game. Um, I'm trying to remember a game that I did that with. Some games have New Game Plus, and that really gets to me. Um, I think I can level up Jeff now. No, what do you need? ABI is 40. No, this one, okay. What do you got for me? Also, um, I know I've been told to get Belfamon. I don't know who, like, what ultimate leads to Belfamon, so I can't really promise that. Piedmon's pretty good. I'll allow it. Um, yeah, so I don't know how to get to Belfamon. I don't know what Digimon leads into it, so for now, Piedmon will have to be okay. Speaking of Piedmon, Vexen, who's in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, same voice actor as, um, Piedmon, and he fucking knocks it out of the park. Just made me remember that. Um, but yeah, so I want to finish that up. And the other one is South Park Stick of Truth, but I should theoretically only need one more playthrough. But that's the thing, is that I needed, I thought I could mop the, like, get the platinum for that in two playthroughs. And I almost did. And then for whatever reason, um, like, I missed something right in the beginning. Like, like um, there's a trophy for getting everyone, like, on your friends, and, um, if you don't talk to Clyde within, like, the first ten, like, when you literally start the game, get into the first area, if you don't talk to Clyde right then, then he's missable, and it's like, that's bullshit. <laughs> I think I already came here, didn't I? Um, so, uh, there's a bug on my screen. What do you think you're doing here? I am recording, sir. Um, yeah, um... So I missed him, and I got every other trophy except... And then I also missed something else. Um, I missed the one for collecting all weapons and clothes, and so I missed, like, the clothes one. So I missed... There's one for collecting all the clothes and for collecting all weapons and clothes, which is weird. But uh, I missed both of those, and I missed the one for getting all friends. Those are the only ones I need left. But I literally did a second playthrough right after the first one, and, like, just thought I could, like, breeze right through it, and I couldn't. So, um... I haven't wanted to play it in a while. That, to be honest, the game itself isn't very fun. Like, it's a very average game. Uh, the story is fine, whatever, you know, if you like South Park. Um, some people say it's the funniest game they've ever played, and I just, I don't agree with that. I mean, Saints Row is just so much better. Um, are you over here? No. At some point you will be. Um, I, I just gotta start using those items that teleport me to the beginning of the dungeon. Damn it, it's there again? I wonder if they're... I wonder if they're already... Yeah, okay, now I figured it out. So they're in set spots, but... Um, they're in set spots, and... Um, depending on what order you get them in, it'll depend. It'll uh, change from whatever part, like one, two, whatever. I think there's supposed to be like five of them, which is too many. Like, let's be real here. Um... Oh my god, there are five. Why is this so long? Um, let me just use this. Uh, where are you? Oh, escape gate, escape from battle, home gate. No. Dungeon entrance. When, it's, when I say dungeon entrance, it will just put me right at the beginning, right? Thank god. Okay. Um, let's use this one. I think I skipped this one. Um, oh yeah, I definitely have not been here. Um, what else was I going to say though? Um, so yeah, those are the games I'm looking to play, but those are just for trophies. Like, I really do want to play like a story intense game right now. Um, which I theoretically should just get back in Uncharted 4, but I was like, eh, I don't know. I'm trying to come to terms with whether I just don't like Naughty Dog games or not, which I know, very unpopular opinion. Um, but... I 
I liked Uncharted 1. It's a, it's average in my opinion. And I think I liked Uncharted 2 the first time I played it. If not, it was a little hard. Um, to be fair, I keep playing. I keep starting them all on, on hard because I'm an idiot. Um, and I liked Uncharted 3 once I got past a certain point. I think I had the same thing with all three of them, where it's like I didn't like them and I put them down, and I finally kept playing, and I liked them. Not a great way to play these. Um, and I did, I'm, I've done the same thing with Uncharted 4 now, so it's like... I don't know. I think the only one I've played like straight through for Naughty Dog is Last of Us. And then I thought that was better than Uncharted, but I still thought it was um, very overhyped. Um, but that might have been my fault for not playing on a harder difficulty. Uh, because I thought the game was too easy. Uh, because I'm like a manic hoarder, like, so I would search every nook and cranny for items, like, so I would constantly have like three of every item, like like smoke bombs, regular bombs, etc. Um, and I think that ended up hurting me in the long run, so... Um, you know, uh, that might have been on me. It might have also been like at the when Last of Us came out, I was working at the wine warehouse, and I was working at my job right now. And it was kind of like I am now, where it's like I had one day off and I was working every other day. And Carlos got the game at the same time. I was ahead of him for a while. Then he ended up like coming through, and he was just like, "Oh man, you're gonna love this part. You're gonna love this part. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love that." And I think he was the reason I don't like it because he overhyped it. And I think Carlos does that to me with a couple. Of, I think he's done that with the Uncharted games too. So you can all just blame Carlos. Hashtag blame Carlos. Um, he does that a lot, where he'll he'll overhype a game, and then I'll just like my instant re reaction will just be like to reject him and just be like, no, everything you like is a lie. Um, I guess I can go to this one. Can I? Have I been here already? Yes. This is confusing. It's very confusing. Um, there's another dungeon return. Um, glad I have these. <laughs> Just trying to cut down the amount of time I have to walk in circles. Uh, which one haven't I fully explored? I don't think I've done the one where I have to go up. Yeah, I don't think I've done the one up here yet. Maybe I have, but I don't remember doing it. Um, what was I going to say? Um, that's the other thing is that it makes, <laughs> working so much makes Let's Plays difficult because nothing's fucking happened. Nothing has happened in my life. That's what I do. That's my thing is I draw from like, oh, this happened and this and this and this. Nothing has happened. I've been working. That's it. No updates. No news. Um, I just, I don't, like I got nothing. I got nothing. Um, so here we are. I guess I was using Platinum Sukumon and Platinum Moomon, but I guess I don't really need them because since I'm only fighting champions, the XP they're giving isn't that much to begin with. Alright, I've definitely already been here. Cool. Good job, Nick. <sighs> um, but, um, yeah, like I haven't played any game. I got nothing to talk about. Um, I can't even think of any weird work stuff. Um,. No? I don't think anything weird's happened. I'm on a real, uh... I guess I can start talking about uh, plans and stuff. So, I'm cautious about doing this because um, I already have a lot of things open, so it's like I don't want to say, like, oh, and here's a new series I want to start. Obviously, I'd like to start the series I have, or, like, finish the ones I have, but I've been really, like, thinking about Pokemon lately, and I don't know why, so... I think I, um... I think I want to stream Pokemon Coliseum again, because that was at a time when I was, again, working a lot and didn't really have that much time to record, and I kind of just thought that it was like each fight took too long and stuff like that, but at the same time, I feel like if I streamed it now, I could probably do it. Um, like, I feel like it, if I streamed a Pokemon game, like a po game like Coliseum, it would work a lot better than if I did some other way. Where am I supposed to go? I'm trying to think. That second level leads somewhere else. Um, I really don't know what area I haven't gone to. That up one was one. I think. Let me try this again, because I definitely this is like the least explored one. Um. So. 
yeah, I've just been on a Pokemon kick lately. I want to do the Nuzlocke thing, because I think that'll be fun. If I ever get a chance to stream again, then I'll try and finish the uh, Heart Gold randomizer playthrough. Because that was my favorite part of when I asked for suggestions about the Nuzlocke run. When people were like, um, oh, well, just, you should do a randomized version of it. I'll tell you two reasons why I'm not going to do that. One, I already have a randomizer playthrough. And two, doing a Nuzlocke run of randomizer would be chaotic. And not in a good way. It would be in either A, it would become way too easy way too quickly because I would get an OP Pokemon. Or it would become way too hard because I'd come up against someone who had an OP Pokemon and they'd wipe out like half of my guys. Which I guess is what you guys want to see, but if I'm doing like a long playthrough, that's not really great for that type of thing. <laughs> so, um, I will say this. I'm going to restart the playthrough um, because the randomizer... Someone made a better suggestion where it's like, use the randomizer, not because you want to randomize the Pokemon, but so you can like fiddle with some of the set like settings, like make it so you can get all the evolutions, like the ones you don't have to trade or like stuff like that. And that's a good idea. Um, and there were other things too where it's like, I can still make it fun. Like, so I fiddled with the randomizer and I um, finally, goddamn, it was hidden. Um, I fiddled with the randomizer, and I, um, uh, I random it'll, I'll talk about it more when I do the part, which I think I'm gonna record after this, um, but I fiddled with a few things, stuff that doesn't really, it's more like quality of life stuff, like, just enough to make things interesting, but not enough to, like, change the, like, difficulty drastically. So let's begin, like, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, again, the long story short, Pete was, um, he was trapped when during the construction of the building. He was trapped in um, where is Pete? There he is. He was trapped in like the computer thing, and he was a he was a cat named Miko, and he transformed into um, a Digimon from there. And now he's regaining the memories, and he was that old man's cat. And that old man always go went there because spiritual stuff and whatnot. What a whatever yada yada. It's actually a pretty it's if not a little complicated. It's a pretty good story in when I'm when you're playing on your own, but. I'm not dealing with it. This is long enough. This is I've been skipping through dialogue, and this is already an hour long. It's gonna be less for you because I'm gonna cut it down a little bit, but still. Like what the fuck? How long do I have to do this? Also, why is Wanyamon? Oh, did it change? Did it like reverse his forehead? Because his name is Miko, so it turned into an M. Because I mean, he's a Wanyamon. He should definitely have a W on his forehead. That is unexcusable. <laughs> How did they mess that translation up? Yep, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, Cook Kyoko, what you're saying is really interesting, and um, I'm definitely paying attention, but um, yeah, we got shit to do. Mm-hmm, yep. <sighs> Whatever, please stop, just get over it. Oh my god, just let it be done. Stop. I don't need a cutscene for this. Whatever. I almost pressed the share button. Almost. Um. What? I'm trying to think. If there must have been another game I had, like, on deck. Um. I know I said I was going to play Mass Effect 3 for a while, but I fell out with that one. Um. I'm in talks with Spencer to play another co op game. Um. We'll see when we actually get around to it. Um. But, you know, it is planned. Okay. So that's that. Let me go heal so I don't forget. And, um... Oh my god, no. No! I should have just saved. Hey, sorry, but I'm in a hurry. I have a message for you. Come to Odaiba. Suedo said the weekend Xmon will be heading back there. It's your chance to defeat Xmon. Help Suedo. Listen up, though. Come alone. Don't tell Kyoko or anyone else. Just you. See you later. Hmm. Uh, Cryptic. Right, I gotta do that or I won't remember to heal. Um, so yeah, that is, um, that's the end of this part. Doing this part 38, which will make officially make this the longest Let's Play series I've done. Um, I don't know how long this will go. <laughs> Someone made a joke when I first started playing this that it's like, at the rate you've been doing this, this will take about 92 parts. And I don't think they were exaggerating. I think they might have actually done the math. And, um... 
it's really starting to feel like that's a real pos possibility. So, I don't know. It'll probably be like, I don't know. We're on chapter 16. There's 20 chapters. Include all the bonus stuff. Um, liberally, I could say the, the highest it'll go is 60. I don't think it'll go that far, though. So, we'll see. Um, and I do want to do a stream... Um, I think my next stream I want to do is I want to stream this game and wrap up all the side quests just so we don't have them all like bunched together at the end. But uh, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching.